Okay, so to kick things off here, let's go and get our input mapping set up in our input asset. All right, so we want to set up all the different inputs that we want to take in from the, the player. Okay, so let's get this set up. All right, so here we are in our scene. Let's go, and if you don't already have it open, uh, you can always go back into your input and just double click your input asset, or you can go and click this little button too to bring up the window. So let's let's actually um, let's get rid of all this stuff and just start fresh. All right, I'm gonna delete that guy too. So we're gonna keep our action map here. All right, and then you can see it threw some error, but it's still working. I mean, like I said, this is still in preview, so you're bound to run into some sort of those error messages. So the first uh, input that we want to do is the cyclic action. All right, so we're gonna do call this cyclic, like so. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, binding here and the cyclic is let's actually hit W on the keyboard so I can select this guy and then I'm gonna hit E on the keyboard so the cyclic is gonna take care of the pitch so the forward and back and then it's also gonna take care of the roll all right so the, the basically the banking of this guy okay and so let's go and get this guy hooked up so the first thing I want to do I'm gonna actually set this one to pass through and that way I can go and uh, set this as a vector two, all right? Because we're going to hook this up to the WASD key on the keyboard and to the left stick on the Xbox controller. So I have the Xbox controller, um, but the input system does make it really easy to hook up any of the other um, controllers if you have like a PS4 controller or some sort of joystick, something like that. All right, so let's get the keyboard hooked up first. Um, and so what I'm going to do, come over here and hit the little plus button like so. And I'm going to say add 2D vector composite. All right. And that just means that it's going to give us, you know, up, down, left, and right. All right. So we're going to call this WASD like so. And then for up, we want to use the W key. All right. So just like we saw before, I'm just selecting the particular input coming over here to the uh, path drop down and then just typing in the key that I want to use. All right. So S. So we want the S keyboard left we want to use the a key on the keyboard and then for the right we want to use the d key on the keyboard all right so there's our first setup so that's the keyboard so see how fast that is it's really cool rather than having to go and set this all up in scripts so let's go and add another one for the xbox controller so i'm going to say add another 2d vector composite and this is going to be called the l stick for left stick all right so we have the same bindings here this time around though, what I wanna do, I'm gonna actually click back a couple times there. I'm gonna use a gamepad. And if I go all the way down to the bottom here, we can actually go and select your specific type of controller that you have. So in my case, I have the Xbox controller. And so I wanna to go to the left stick and for the up, I just wanna use up. And then for down, I wanna use the uh, down like so. And for left, I wanna use the left. And for right, you might have guessed, we want to use right. Awesome. So we got all that stuff hooked up. All right, so the next uh, input action that we need to set up, I'm actually going to leave that uh, rolled out like so. So the next one that we want to do is our pedals. So the pedals are going to control the overall uh, yaw of the actual drone itself. Okay. So let's go get that hooked up. So we need a new action for this. We don't want to add another binding. We want to add a new action. All right, so we'll call this pedals like so. And then in, let's just delete the default one. And I'm going to uh, first come over here and let's do a pass through for this. And this one is gonna be a axis. Let's do axis here and let's do a 1D axis composite. That'll give me my negative and positive. What I'm gonna do for the keyboard, so this is gonna be the arrows. So I'm gonna use the left and right keys on the keyboard, okay? So for the negative, we are going to, let's go back a couple times here. So we are going to use the left arrow. So if you just type in left arrow, you get the option there. And then for the positive, we're going to use the uh, right arrow. And we'll spell it correctly. There we go. Awesome. So there we go. So now we got those guys all set up. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is the throttle. So the throttle is going to be what makes us go up and down. All right. So let's go back to our inputs and add a new action. All right, we're gonna call this throttle, like so. And I'll delete the uh, initial one there. And uh, this one is also going to be a value. 
All right, and this is also going to be an axis because we need the uh, up and down, right? So we're going to add a new 1D axis composite that'll give us our negative and positive values. All right, so we're going to call this arrows. Oh, and I totally forgot to set up the Xbox version of the pedals. We'll do that here in just a second. So uh, the up and down arrow is what I'm going to use for the throttle. All right, so we're going to use uh, the down arrow for our negative, and then we'll use the up arrow for the positive. There we go. And then we need to go and add. Let's collapse all this so we can see it here. So we need to go add another 1D composite. We'll call this the, so this is going to be on the right stick, so our stick. All right, so for the bindings, I want to use the game pad. So it's coming up by default for me, which is awesome. So I am going to, but I do want to make sure I'm on the Xbox controller just to be safe. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to go to the right stick. So our negative is going to be down and our positive is going to be up on the right stick. All right, cool. So now we got our arrows and our right stick all hooked up. So for the pedals, this is going to be hooked to the right stick as well. So we want to do another 1D axis. So we'll call our stick for the name. And then for our bindings, uh, this is going to be left and right on the Xbox controller's right stick. So we'll do uh, left for negative, and we'll do right for positive. And with that, we now have all of our input set up that we need. So hopefully you can see how much faster that is. Um, I hope that this particular uh, package comes out of preview uh, pretty soon because um, this is so much more efficient when it comes to setting up inputs. You have to write so much less code, which is awesome. So I'm going to close the lecture out there. And in the next lecture, what we're going to do is get our script hooked up so we can access all the values that are coming out of all these inputs.